My name is Brooke Scow, and our family has been working with the Bridge Ministries for the past two or three years. Uh, this is a ministry in Bryan, Texas that operates as a food pantry, and they're the only evening food pantry in our area. So we have about 29% of families that are living in an impoverished state. The Bridge Ministries is trying to help bridge that gap. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the Bridge Ministries has had to adjust and revise how we're serving families in our community to keep everyone safe. The Bridge has adjusted to a drive through pantry with pre-assembled boxes and bags of food. The Bridge Ministries saw a huge drop off in their volunteers, but at the same time, um, we saw a huge increase in, in need for food and supplies. And so what was really exciting was the AFC was really able to step in and uh, be the hands and feet of Jesus and to help during a time that they really needed extra hands. There have been so many ways that the AM Church has supported the bridge. And one way that has been really beautiful is just watching people um, donate and contribute their resources, but also their time. We've had volunteers, we've had families um, help financially support the bridge during this difficult season. Feeding families is an incredibly tangible way to share Jesus with people, and we get to see the beauty of that through the a and Church. My name is Deb Foster. My husband Rick and I are volunteers at the Brazos Church Pantry, and we work along with Iva Jean and Lonely Ball uh, to be contact people between here and uh, the church pantry. Uh, the church pantry is made up of several churches within the area that help uh, with volunteers. We're the only church pantry open from Monday through Saturday. Uh, God has been very uh, good to help uh, us as workers to become creative in how to better serve our clients. We have seen a growth in clients. We have also received more food and monetary donations. Our church has been so great in doing uh, particularly the food drives. Um, I know Monty and his kids have helped so much and they especially one time raised over 4,000 pounds of food and that generosity has uh, made a huge difference. The Brazos Church Pantry has to pay for food when we go to the Brazos Valley Food Bank and so because of these two types of donations it lets us not use our money uh, for a while and it makes it go much further along. So we just thank the church in all that they do to help us to better serve the community and uh, be better volunteers. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kyler Christensen, uh, and I am our primary point person for uh, working with BCS Together and the care portal requests that they sent us. BCS Together is a local nonprofit here in Bryan that serves children touched by the child welfare system. They have a clothes closet here uh, that they're able to provide toys, clothes, diapers, bedding, all kinds of different essentials that these kids and families need uh, when they're removed out of their home. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, removals by Child Protective Services uh, have skyrocketed, especially since children are back in school. And so we're seeing a lot of needs in this field. Those needs we're able to meet through the Care Portal system. They send out a request through Care Portal, and then we as a church can work with the community and other churches and our own members here at AM Church of Christ to be able to meet those needs. Some of the needs you as a church have met over the past few months is providing beds and bedding, providing clothing and diapers to these families, and also providing toiletry bags to teens that are staying at the CPS offices. Thank you, A&M Church of Christ, for meeting these needs in our community. I'm excited to see what else we can do as we engage with our community.